Hey, what's up everyone? We're here on mastermind number seven and it's been a while, but we're back at it. And been a while. Yeah. <laughs> same players in the game, me and Juan, just catching yep. up after this long hiatus um, of yeah. some sort. So uh, I guess we'll start out with just catching up a little bit. What's going on with you? Right. So, I mean, everything has been weird, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was not expecting this comp uh, this to happen this year. Like, I mean, I thought it was gonna be like a a good hustling year, but everything's slow. I mean, everything's closed. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And um, but so far, from all, at all the jobs that I applied to in Austin, um, Unity has been holding up lately. So I, I don't I mean I I don't think they're being affected that much because I mean they do gaming stuff. So, I mean, if people are home, they're gaming. That's so, say that. <laughs> yeah. So, so far though, I'm just been ha hanging out at home and um, going outside just for a bit, not not too long, just going for walks and runs. But that's pretty much it. And then doing front end master stuff when I'm home. Mm -hmm. So, pretty mm -hmm. chill stuff though. What about you? Um, as you can see, I'm kind of in a new place. So oh, yeah, I've, yeah. yeah, this is my my new room. Um, maybe I'll take a screenshot or something here and share you with you kind of what my setup is like. I'm still in the process of getting things moved around, but um, right. I think I'll take a picture after this and just throw it on here. Right. So wh where did you end up moving though? Down on uh, East Riverside. East. So yeah, it's down. Right. It's close to downtown, probably ten minutes away. Mm -hmm. and it's super chill here like i'm having a lot of fun <laughs> nice dude nice and r recently <clears throat> with me just working from home um same company it's been okay of a challenge it's not too difficult i think the challenge more is like getting used to their their system because they right. use you know php and c sharp so getting used to how they have their system set up. So that was more the challenging things. Um, I'll go more into it, but yeah, just moving to this place has been taking up a lot of time and then just working at the company and then moving furniture and stuff. And it's just been taking so much time, but that's kind of what I've been up to. Right. Um, I guess we'll, we'll jump into the next topic, which is basically right. Um, dealing with COVID-19. Right. Like you were saying, this situation has just been completely weird for everyone. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard, but in Virginia, they're kind of doing a in place, you know, a shelter in place until June 10th or something like that. You mean like lockdown? Lockdown, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw it like it was this past weekend when it began, but and yeah. I, I thought that was nuts man because that's yeah. a couple months and that's like it's today's april you got may and then you get june so that's like two solid months of doing nothing <laughs> right but um yeah. i'm glad you're still applying to jobs here in austin um as far as myself i've been unaffected basically right. working home every day you know five days a week 40 hours and just taking time to go outside, get fresh air and exercise. And um, things have been pretty normal for me. I think it's everyone else around me that's having a difficult time. Um, right. I'm still going out. I'm being careful, but um, I'm trying not to go crazy here in my house. So I try to step outside as much as I can. Yeah. How are you holding up over there in Virginia? Because I know it's more, it's more stringent than Texas well. over here. Well, it's been okay. I mean, I haven't really felt, I mean, I guess I haven't gone out that much, but I mean, I, I go out to the park just to walk. I mean, you can still go out to walk and stuff. And, mm -hmm. um, but I think they want to limit that to like 30 minutes or something. They limit you? No, no, I mean, I think that I saw something <laughs> like that online to like limit your runs or walks to like 30 minutes. Oh, sure. So shit. you're not being exposed for that long, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I go out to walk just so I don't go crazy, like you said, because being stuck at home. I mean, I think I was stuck at home like the week before this one, and I felt like really lazy. I mean, I didn't feel good, so I needed to get out and do something. 
Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and um, and from there, I mean, just doing I mean, normal stuff at home, I mean, like playing games, doing front end masters, mm-hmm. um, touching. Oh, uh, sorry, um, touching base again with Unity because uh, the the my point of contact there were people from the UK, so the timing is weird when they reply back to me. So, um, but yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it though. Yeah, so I guess that's a good segue to go into the jobs and the job search process. So right. w- would you tell us a little bit about, you know, how you've progressed with the Unity application or maybe some of the other ones that um, right. you've been doing? Right, so to start, just to like, I guess, clear the list off, I'll start with the this company uh, called uh, Ojo Labs. I think I told you about them. Right. Yeah, so I met up with them when I was in Austin, but then since I came back to VA um, and then when I came back, everything was going crazy because of the virus. So I was like, okay, maybe this is one to happen just because of the lockdown stuff and I don't know. Mm-hmm. So basically, I got an email, I think, this week saying like they closed out all the jobs because they don't know till when they'll be able to resume like the hiring process so they closed oh, out every job opening they had <laughs> so i'm like okay that's whatever um but unity um so at first i i had an interview with the hiring uh recruiter or whatever that's in the uk so i had a video conference with him when i was in austin and then he's like well it looks like we'll proceed to the second step which will be a, a talk with the your manager, the guy that will be your manager or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so that call didn't happen because the position I applied for was like a lead um, engineer position. Right. And that was, I mean, I still, I was like, okay, I'll do the second step, but I don't know if I'll proceed to the, whatever next step there is after that. But since they decided to mo- move on with someone else on that position, uh, the recruiter guy, he's like, well, since that position, we decided to move on with someone else. We actually have this position open. It's not open on their site, but they open it up. I don't know. I guess for me or whatever. I don't know. So if you still want to proceed, let me know, and we'll set up a call with the the manager or someone at Austin mm-hmm. that you'll be working with. So that call did happen this last Wednesday. Well, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before this one. Mm-hmm. So I had the call with the guy, one of the guys, like, I guess I will be working with. Uh, his name is Justin. And then, um, I mean, I was expecting, like, really technical questions, but it was not too bad. Um, it was really easy. I mean, he did ask me a couple of technical stuff, but it was mostly server related, like I did at Facebook before. Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, you seem like you know your stuff. And um, but yeah, and then. Yeah, the the questions were pretty straightforward. I mean, it was most like mostly like a conversation. It was not really like one way, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that felt pretty good. And then he's like, "Well, he's like the recruiter will be in touch with you, uh, ASAP." So the guy, the recruiter dude, got back to me this last Wednesday, and he's like, "Here's the test, and then make sure you finish this test before your next call." So I was able to pick like the dates and times for this next one, which will be next week, not this one, but the next week. Mm. So I um I'm in the process. I'm almost done getting the server done. The, that's the test that I had to the complete. take home test. Yeah, basically making a Counter Strike server, but um at the point I'm at right now, it's just I I just have to open it up to the internet so people can join the server. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it and then i only have to explain like my process like what i got stuck then and then what resources i used to get the server up and running and um and yeah and after that i don't know i mean the this next call was supposed to be the one where they bring me on site Mm -hmm. but they're like well since all this virus thing is going on we're gonna do a virtual tour of the office and then you meet people from the team and stuff like that so i don't know We'll see how it goes. So that's coming up next week, this coming week? This upcoming week. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you yeah. start, you'll probably start working from home too. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I mean, like I'm I'm, I'm on the first step, I guess. So that's pretty good, right? 
Yeah. So I feel like I'm I have a pretty good chance at getting it. So I think if I do start, I'll be like, if they do want to chip a computer, I'll be like, can you send it here? And then whenever, tell me whenever you want me and back in the office, I'll fly down there or whatever. So, but yeah, I'll probably start from home if I do end up uh, getting the job. Yeah, it's probably definitely a lot, uh, a lot less crazy down here in Texas compared to Virginia. Um, yeah. I talked to my parents over there too, and it's just more because they're closer to Ground Zero, like you know DC, right? Uh, New York, kind of same deal. Um, right. People are just going nuts over there. <laughs> um, Texas, I think they've been they've been cautious, but they're not as cautious as some other areas. So right. I'm really thankful for that. Um, yeah, I guess starting at home would would be a, the ideal situation and. Once you do get in, you know, once this thing lifts, like you're able to come to Austin and that's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Um, as far as my job goes, it's been pretty chill. Like I said, um, I am working with new systems and everything. It's a little bit confusing because I don't know how to debug sometimes. It's not like right. JavaScript where you just like, oh, let me plug in some data and see what comes out. It's it's not as straightforward because they're they use systems that are kind of legacy so i have to figure a way how to like get the see the results and then play plug in results and see what i get right so one of the features i'm working on is building out for one of their clients a dashboard not building in the way that i'm building it from scratch but more so like getting them set up like okay they provided me these these data and i have to kind of render it to the page so right they do have one or two specific requirements that I have to track. So that's kind of what I'm working with, more like the logic side of things than actually the HTML, CSS side of things, if that makes sense. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, my coworker's been pretty cool. I think this is the, you see, it's I think it's the second or, I think it's the third week actually. Yeah, so I just finished my third week here. And um, yeah, it's great, man, just being at home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect, you know, you know, being remote like this ever since I started a job, but it right. actually gave me a good taste of like what it's like to work at home. And I wouldn't have a problem with this if I could go outside and go to events and, you know, meet up with people. But I think the right. more difficult thing for me is just not being able to go out and um, do my normal activities, kind right. of staying in my, my house all day long. And when you work from your room, it's definitely a different feeling. And then you kind of have fun in your room too, like surfing right. the internet, watching movies, passing your time. So, yeah, I mean, everything else is, at work is good. Um, I put in a timesheet every week. Um, I'm salaried, I'm, I'm full time. And my two other developers in the company, they're pretty chill. Like they're laid back guys too. They have uh, right. a kid. So they both have a kid. So they kind of um, have their own thing going on. They're not. The, the whole company is not really like, oh, you got to push this production, like, go, 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 go. It's more right. like, oh, you know, work on this and then we'll release it on the next the next sprint or whatever. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, really chill. So I'm, I'm really glad to be in this position. Um, I'd like to segue to another topic if you don't have yeah. anything else on jobs and job hunting. Right. Yeah, I think that should be it for me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to uh, kind of just side maybe like side things that you're doing. So right. you were mentioning FEM and I'm actually finishing up the React intermediate course where it talks about all these different features from React. Um, right. Specifically, it went through React hooks. There's something called node streams, which is mm -hmm. basically it loads part of the page sequentially. It's supposed to be a lot faster. And now I'm gonna kind of finish up um, the TypeScript section and then I only have Redux and then some of the other like small libraries that in in, in the JavaScript or React ecosystem. Right. Um, my subscription's coming coming to an end uh, in a couple of days. So I'll probably cut that out and I'll jump right. on to LinkedIn Learning, which is provided for free by my company. Nice. And maybe I'll jump on to your fem or something like that just to stay relevant to some of the newer javascript topics that with kyle simpson and whatnot yeah dude. 
Um, as far as side hustles go, I don't really, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm, I'm supposed to finish up my portfolio website, but there's still like these little things like photos that I have to edit just to make it look right on the website. And right. then just little tweaking little things before I launch it. But I think I should be finished by next weekend because I've been so busy with moving. I haven't had time to finish it. Right. And, uh, yeah, just doing little things in my house here, like uh, just for the house and building this light tower and um, building like blackout curtains for my room, like things that are necessary. So I kind of put everything right. else on the back burner. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hoping to get back into it, working on my Spanish and um, coding. So that's going to pick up again soon. So just been busy. Uh, what's going on with you? So goals, yeah, like I've been doing front end masters and I began doing one of the, um, the view course. Mm -hmm. So picking up view just because I don't know, Jan and Dave have been recommending view lately. So mm -hmm. I'm like, why not pick it up? So, and besides coding stuff, um, I mean, I'm still doing music. Like I, I think, well, I'm not sure if I'm done with this track guy made last night but i just need to i guess fix the audio mm -hmm. for it but um uh, yeah still um uh, working on music mm -hmm. um and that's pretty much it i'm also i mean i'm still working on a new layout for my portfolio site so um, i'll be working on that but pretty slow i'm, I'm not rushing i guess on that but uh but yeah because yeah. you're interviewing right now it looks like you're pretty much in for this job so <laughs> yeah i mean i hope so i hope so yeah 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 that's pretty much it though yeah that's cool yeah. um and I, I think the last thing was just uh do you remember what the last topic was Let me just double check here <laughs> i wrote uh, it down but it was upcoming goals i think we just finished oh yeah okay yeah. so the very last thing is just upcoming goals um we just started the new month in april and right. I hope by the end of this month to at least kind of get settled here with my new place and my work and at l definitely finish my portfolio site. Like that's, that's a given. It, it shouldn't take too long. Right. Um, my upcoming goal is probably to start working on the Loquella project again. I need to right. keep my JavaScript uh, chops, you know, sharp. Right. So what I've been doing is one of our mutual friends will I hop on with him and I try to just review different concepts with him. So we hopped on earlier this week to practice um, React questions. So kind of like interview style, like, hey, what is the state compared to the props? What is, you know, some of the uh, things you know about hooks? What is Redux? What is this and that? So right. it's been really helpful just to kind of review, but I think it's only worthwhile to actually go into the code, like actually write out the codes and see what's happening right. um, instead of at a high level. Um, other than that, I don't really have any goals um, so far about my job. It's kind of just to maintain working there and trying to like get really efficient with it so I don't have to put in as much time and then just working on these other side hustle things and uh, make time for things that are more important in a way. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, what goals do you have for this coming month? Um, or so, I mean, so I mean, one of my goals is just to like land that Unity job, basically. At this point, I mean, I, I feel like I'm pretty. I feel like I'm in right now, but I mean, it's up to them to decide. But um, right. hopefully, at the end of this month, um, I should be. I should have an offer or something, because I mean, after this test, and after I guess getting to know the office through video i don't know what's next after that i mean what mm -hmm. do you think is next i mean that's it usually if the last step is usually on site like with on site they'll have one or two you know interviews maybe more with big companies right. but usually they, if they bring you on they've already spent so much money in you because if you think about it the recruiter at the company spent all this time they have to pay them to interview you, you know? So they're they're spending money getting you right. in. Right. And it's like the same thing if you're if you're you're seeing somebody you you know, you invest in them too. You don't right. want to just throw it away, you know, like mm -hmm. unless 
someone really stands out comes in but what i said right. i've i've just been told if you got to the on-site they're pretty much gonna hire you you know unless like you turn out to be not the person they're looking for like in terms of skill or right something else yeah right but right. yeah so keep uh keep working at it. i'm sure you'll get it you just yeah, have to <laughs> just keep follow follow up with them don't drop the ball and uh, yeah you should get in come back to austin where it's actually a little bit warmer <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude but uh but yeah it's pretty much it for now though that's my goal just to land that and then from there just keep doing fem lab do keep coding on laquella as well so yeah so i'm really uh excited to get into laquella and i'll tell you more about it offline but i've been talking yeah. to some people and they've recommended some things so cool. uh, hoping to get into it more seriously but that's all i got for now for mastermind yeah. seven yeah yep all right i guess cool yeah. Peace out, everybody. See you next time.